Hey guys, it's Jasmine here. I actually wanted to do something a little different for this video. I want to do a general monthly reading for the month of May. So I'm going to be using two decks for this reading. I'm going to be using Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. And of course, my favorite deck that I always use is the Psychic Tarot Oracle Deck by John Holland. Okay, guys, so let's get these out of the way. And I'm going to do a four card spread okay so let's start off with the psychic oracle deck so let's see what the general energy oh cards are flipping out <laughs> let's see what the general energy is for the month of may and if you are watching this video more than likely this message is for you um if not and it doesn't resonate with you you know there are definitely some other you know um card readings for the month that actually may resonate with you with you know different readers and different things like that so I got Love Begins, Foundations and Achievements, Authority, and Third Eye Chakra. So what do these cards mean? Um, now, for some of you for the month of May, this is Third Eye Chakra. So this is going to represent some of you are actually going to start making the move to attain your dreams. You may actually start connecting more with your guides, your ancestors, your higher self, and you're going to start being able to channel and download different things to do. Now, for some of you who are like, I'm not into all that, you know, connecting with guides or, oh my God, I just don't have that connection. Well, what this represents is some of you are actually going to be able to actually attain your dream. Now, say if, you know, your dream is like, oh my God, I need to get a part-time job because I want a new car. You're going to be able to be able to do that. You're going to be able to attain the steps. You may find that part-time job you've been looking for. So if you're like, I've been wanting to get a part-time job at Target, well, it's going to happen. Okay. Um, also, this month can mean for some of you who are starting new businesses, you're going to start seeing that, oh my gosh, what I've been dreaming and manifesting for in the future is actually starting to manifest now. Also, for some of you, this card is also going to represent begin the process of starting to manifest for your future. So for some of you who may have been feeling down and out and saying like, oh my God, this law of attraction stuff hasn't been working for me, definitely start taking control of the third eye and be like, you know what? This stuff does work. Um, it's going to take time. But I feel like if you start maybe manifesting and um, visualizing, this is visualizing, using your imagination every day, you are then going to be able to start. You see this Love Begins card? You're going to start being able to bring down what you've been looking for, okay? You're going to start seeing little signs, signals. Um, the guys are telling me you might start seeing, you see, this is like foundations and achievements, and this is like family members, but this is representative for the person who may not believe in guides or may not be as close to their guides or someone who doesn't believe in manifestation, your guides are going to start giving you synchronicity. So some of you guys next month are going to start seeing those famous angel numbers, 111, 222, 333, you know, whatever may constantly come up for you because your guides are like, yeah, we're rooting you on. You're actually going to be able to manifest this month or actually start seeing the process, how it works and different things like that. Now, also for the month of May, I do see some of you. Now, <laughs> this is the authority card, okay? So some of you may actually begin to start taking control of your life, whether it's in relationships, whether it's with family members, whether it's with friends. So I'm not going to lie. Some of you are going to be like, stop the bullshit. <laughs> so there are some of you who are going to be putting ends to some things that maybe, you know, your self-esteem may have been low about or somebody's just been treating you shitty and you're just like, enough's enough. Now, some of you in May, this is Love Begins. So, you know, this is the card, literally the card of Ravetum. Some of you may be attaining love. It's funny, particularly Tauruses. Tauruses may start um, bringing in love in the month of May, okay? Or you may start thinking more about love. But I feel like love is actually going to start coming for some of you Tauruses in May. So I'm super, super excited, okay? Now, foundations and achievements. Now, for some of you in May, you actually are going to be able to build a sound foundation for your family life, work life. Um, this feels actually more like money. That's what my guys are telling me. So these two are actually connected for the month of May, okay? So you're going to be able to attain what you've been looking for, okay, guys? Now, all of this is fine and dandy, but let's pull a card from the angels and ancestors and see what they have to say that you need to do to be able to attain this possibly for the month of May. So let's see what they have to say. Let's pull a card. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Surround yourself with protective energy. Okay. So how do you do that? Your guides, your ancestors, call them in. Say, hey guys, help me out. You know, help me out with this energy of the month of May. Um, protective energy also means, um, help me guide my thoughts, my actions. So if your thoughts are maybe like, oh, I don't know if this is going to happen. Ask your guides, wait a minute, protect, protect what I'm trying to manifest. Help me keep positive thoughts. Help me maintain positive thoughts about what is happening for me or what I'd like to attain. So this is what it represents. Call your angels and guides in. Ask them to come in and protect your thoughts and keep them as positive as possible. Because guys, I want to see for the month of May, you guys attaining what you want and you can feel, <laughs> you're going to feel like a boss. That's the authority card. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this general reading for the month of May. If you'd like your own personal reading, you can call or text me. You can book on Facebook. All of the information is in the description box below. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.